Hi, I'm Squeaky Clean Dave, and in this box I've got what I consider to be the best budget water-fed pole controller on the market. So this is the ABC controller from DA Components, uh, and it is a budget controller but don't let that put you off. Don't let the price of this put you off because this is a fantastic little bit of kit. What you get in the box when it comes is the controller and an instruction box. The controller comes all wired, so that makes the wiring up really, really easy. And you also get a little bag of uh, couplers and a fuse holder. Uh, and the fuses in there as well so there's everything you need to get going. The booklet that comes with it tells you how to wire it up, uh, it tells you how it's all used, what's done, everything like that. It's really simple, no problem at all. Uh, and it, this retails at £60. Uh, don't let that price put you off though. Uh, it's a total little workhorse. It's made in the UK by a company with over 50 years experience in making electrical things. It comes pre-wired, so that saves a lot of hassle for you. And the housing itself is IP55, which means it's splash proof. You won't want to dunk it in a bucket of water, but it is splash proof, so it shouldn't be any problems in your van. The controller itself is ever so simple, on off button and an up and down button. Uh, that then you've got the digital display here and that lets you set your water flow between 0 and 99 so really basic little controller now with this there isn't any dead end on it there's no dead end calibration there's no way you can calibrate it at all so what you have to do there is make sure that the pump you're using has got a pressure switch on it so on these pumps the cables come out the back the red one comes down to the pressure switch and then back to the battery and the black one comes out of the back. If you're using a pump without a pressure switch, like this one, this one's got the pressure switch on it but it's not wired up so the two cables are coming straight out the back. If this is the setup you've got this will be no good with this controller, you do need the pressure switch on the pump. If you're having trouble with if you're having trouble with calibrating the pump, there is just a little uh, grub screw there and you can screw that in and out and that will adjust the pressure switch on the pump to make it come on sooner or go off sooner. So you'll have to fiddle with that yourself to get used to that. So as I said, wiring up is absolutely simple. There's a few things you'll need, uh, some crimpers, or the way I do it, I need crimpers, uh, wire strippers and screwdriver, but if you've just got a pair of pliers, you can normally get away with that. So what I do is I'll tend to use bullet connectors or spay connectors. Uh, the wires that are in it have already been stripped, so give them a twist to make sure they're nice and tight. Push them in and then, <coughs> With the right one, just crimp them shut. If you get a decent pair of crimpers, that holds it really tight. And then do the same on the, uh, the pump part of it. So once you've got the blue and the brown with the bullet connectors on, I don't put the bullets on the red and the black. What I do is either use a ring connector or a spay connector and they'll fit onto the terminals on your battery. So I'll put them on. Once you've got all those on, uh, what you need to do is make sure that you put your fuse connector in or your fuse holder. Uh, now this may seem a bit backwards, but once you've got your wire done, your fuse needs to be close to your battery. So you need to cut that and then the fuse connector, the wire pushes in from either end of the fuse connector. And then there's a little thing in the middle that just stops it from reaching each other so they don't touch. And then once you've got that on, once your fuse connectors in, you squeeze it down and with a pair of pliers 
squeeze it shut. And that just, what that does is there's a little lug in the middle there and that will bite down into the wire going through the cable. You don't need to strip any of the cable off, but it'll go down through the cable. So when you put your fuse in and it, con it connects to it. So now you've got everything all wired up. Don't put your fuse in yet. That's a seven and a half amp spade fuse. Uh, leave that until the very end. You can connect everything up now. So ever so easy, because you've got your spade connectors on, your brown goes to the red, so those just push together, and the black goes to the blue, that just pushes together. So once you've got your pump connected, then you connect your battery, so your negative first. Uh, I just use these uh, battery terminals and unscrew them and just screw your connectors on, and that gives it a good tight fit and that should hold it permanently uh, and you shouldn't have any problem with that. So just connect the black first onto the negative and then the red onto the positive. Now remember don't put your fuse in until you've got it all connected. Once it's all connected then you can put your fuse in. That just pushes in into the fuse holder. Then you can turn your pump on and it's ready to go. Comes up at zero and then you can adjust your, your settings on your pump accordingly from one to from zero to 99. So that is the ABC pump controller from DA Components. Uh, I've got another project coming up with this in a few weeks time so keep watching the channel and you'll be able to see this in a bit more detail and you'll be able to see just how versatile it is. If you're looking for a controller and you only want something that's really basic and reasonably priced but still a very good quality controller, get the ABC pump controller from DA Components. You won't go wrong. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon when you do and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.